this is an all-hands-on-deck mission and the culmination of nearly two years of political groundwork, fundraising and project development. Getting to this significant moment also required many parts of the UN working as one. We need to keep working together over this next critical period to diffuse what remains a ticking time bomb and avoid what would be by far the worst oil spill of our era. I'm on board the Endeavour, the salvage vessel that's working to transfer the oil from the uh, aging, decaying FSO Safar, which you see right behind me, immediately behind me, into our new vessel, uh, the Yemen, which is just on the other side. As you can see, they're closely moored together, berthed together. And I think it's a, it's a day that will be celebrated across Yemen by all people in Yemen, that the, this threat that the uh, the FSO software represented with the 1 million plus barrels of oil on board will no longer be a threat to the uh, shores and the ports of, of Yemen and surrounding countries. The beginning of the ship-to-ship -ship transfer operation is a huge achievement for the many people across the UN system and also beyond because of so many who have worked tirelessly on this complex and difficult project over months and some would say years to bring us to this point. With every gallon of oil now being pumped off the FSO Safa, the threat of a potential oil spill that has loomed over the Red Sea and the peoples of Yemen and neighboring countries begins to recede, slowly but surely. I want to thank the cooperation of all local authorities, the government of Yemen, um, and major donors, both private and, and public, that have made this possible.